A politically controversial redistricting map is now heading to the Senate floor. WMAR 2 News' Don Harrison has more on what the committee members had to say about this. Legislators held a state redistricting joint resolution meeting today. It was to decide which legislative map would be moving forward in the state capitol. Members of the committee and the public stated their concerns late Tuesday afternoon. Carl Aro was the chair of the Legislative Redistricting Committee. Well, no plan is perfect. Uh, I think the plan, I know the plan put forth by the uh, Legislative uh, Redistricting Advisory Commission is, in my opinion, a very, very good plan. They're, they're not fair, they're not concise, and they're not representative of the state of Maryland. Others were not pleased with the map drawn up by the LRAC, Legislative Redistricting Advisory Commission. That map was drawn by a legislative group. The entire proposal is flawed because of the continuous institution of unequal representation of multi-member districts. No district, regardless of county, socioeconomic status, or partisan needs, should have their vote diluted in the legislature. Lily Anna Norkaitis is 17 and will be voting for the first time. She supports the map proposed by the Maryland Citizens Redistricting Commission, the map supported by Governor Larry Hogan. At the end of the two-hour joint committee hearing, the committee approved the LRAC map, the one drawn up largely by Democratic lawmakers 11 to 4. This bill now goes to the Senate floor for discussion and debate. With the General Assembly, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News.